Well, today's video we're going to take a look at the E6 Connect practice facilities. So, uh, first thing we're going to look at is the multiple driving ranges that are available on E6 Connect. And currently out here on the flat range, we'll start, they have four driving ranges and we're going to go through all four of them, maybe hit one or two shots on each one so you can have a look at what they look like. First one we're going to go through is the, the flat driving range and it is exactly that. It's flat, it's uh, not overly exciting, but um, if you've never had a look at the driving ranges on E6 Connect before, you've got your, your main tiles at the top giving you your, your ball data. And then also uh, I have integrated today into the um, screen uh, added FSX Pro onto the software screen today. So FSX Pro was just recently released uh, last week. It's a new free piece of software from Foresight Sports and they've added uh, a few really neat unique features in FSX Pro. But what I do like about it right off the bat outside of what's inside the software is the fact that FSX Pro can be run in conjunction with E6 Connect and that's what you're seeing in the bottom left hand corner uh, from the club data, the blue screen. Um, typically when you're using FSX 2020, the main software bundle for the, the Foresight products, you can't run it in conjunction with E6 Connect. It just won't start up. It won't allow you to run both pieces of simulator software at the same time, um, probably for obvious reasons. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that uh, FSX Pro software, the newest released software, um, can run in conjunction with Connect. So today we're using it. We're using it to uh, monitor our club data and we're going to have a look at this flat range right off the right off the start and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick the right club I'm just going to hit probably hit a six iron since it's nice flat range and it's pretty self-explanatory type of a driving range so it's flat you can go and pick different uh, yardages and set up your aim cursor go out and do whatever we need to do. So my six iron carry distance there, had a nice center strike on the um, club data from FSX Pro. Um, yeah, good spin number for six iron, etc. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in this range. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty basic. Let's exit out, we'll exit round, go to new course, and we'll take a look at the large target range. So again, if you want to adjust wind and go into the settings, you can have wind settings and change things to your liking. That's completely up to you. You can do that all in the settings. Um, here is the large range targets. So again, big, big old large greens. You can see that they are quite large that are out there. You pick your, your uh, aiming point on the mini map at what green you would like to hit at. So for our demonstration here, let's aim at say this 145. I'm just going to change to a smooth 9-iron and we'll throw a, a shot in here and have a look at it. <clears throat> so it's a big target, but what is kind of unique, oh, that one's going to roll off the green, it's got some undulation there. Pulled it just a little bit to the left. Face was closed based on the club data there, 3.4 degrees, close to the path. One nice thing about these ranges, and I spend a lot of time on this uh, E6 uh, large range, this one that's called, um, is this little target in the bottom corner. So we can click this target in the bottom corner and come out here and pick our, pick our uh, position, put this target on this 149 yard marker here, and once we're happy with that position, hit the checkbox, and now you see that this accuracy target is up here. Um, basically, when you start landing uh, golf balls on the green, it's gonna keep track of how many shots you hit, where the shots landed on the target, and it's gonna give you a percent uh, accuracy percentage. So let's see if we can hit that one once. Well, that one's out to the right. Not a good example. <clears throat> so 
that one should find the find the target here. So we landed in that light blue section of the target green. It's going to go through and show us our standard club data. And you can see because I hit two shots, our accuracy is 50% and 50% in that light blue area. So if you were out here on this range practicing hitting shot after shot, and you were trying to practice with a specific club, in my case happens to be a 9-iron, you would be able to see out of 10, 20, 30, whatever shots that you hit, what your accuracy is and whether your accuracy is to the right, to the left of that particular target. So, pretty cool little feature. Oh, that one might miss the right side again. There we go. So we got one in the, if it stays there, one on the right side of the target, one on the left side. So there we are, it's 67% uh, accuracy hitting the target. That says that we were 34 feet to the bullseye basically. And we had 33% on the light blue and 33% on the yellow. So a good little stat tracker there for you and gives you a, a little bit of fun and a little challenge while you're out on the driving range uh, making some swings. And again, we're here, we have all of our club data. One thing that if you are interested, it doesn't help, it doesn't change anything, but you've seen how I clicked on the ball speed at the top and highlighted it blue. You can just left click your mouse button, highlight it blue, and, and basically all it's doing is highlighting that tile and giving you a, a visual so that if you're really focused on what your ball speed is, for example, or perhaps it's your backspin, um, you can click on that, those two and your eyes are just going to jump up to that blue and those are the numbers that you're really focused on working on while you're at this range session. So. Um, other than that, it, uh, highlighting them does nothing else besides uh, give you a quick reference point for your eyes. Uh, let's exit that round. Let's go back into the small shot shape. We'll get on here, and this one's called small shot shape, and you'll see that the greens are small. I'm looking at the mini map here, and you have the bunkers right down the center. So basically, this one's getting you to hit draws and hit fades. So we can play around with that and pick what target here. We got a 154 yard target here. I happen to still have my nine iron in my hand. So let's pick our nine iron just so it's showing us that. And we're aimed at that green on the left side of, call that the Mariana Trench there. So we're asked to hit a draw. That's the flag, that's the area we're going for. So let's see if we can get one. A little short, didn't commit to that shot, but should have been just a, yes, kind of a baby, baby draw. So we're still on that same target. Hit that one, chunky, fat one. So this, again, this range is called the small shot shape range. Yeah, you just gotta actually swing and commit to a shot here. <clears throat> Pretty straight one, not getting the draw to, to move into that green. But uh, then again, let's go back to the right side and we're over here on the right side of the green. I'm just sticking out the shorter, uh, shorter, um, greens just because I got a nine iron in my hand. This one's calling for a fade shot, so. Looks like it was overcooked. So that's the gist of this driving range. And what's nice about it, we have that same accuracy target in the bottom corner. So we can set up our accuracy target come in here and we were aiming for that one with the 9 iron, click it when we're happy and see how many that we can actually get accuracy wide to hit fades into. There's one nice little fade, get us in the back corner. So basically if you're uh, working on your shot shaping, right, left, this is a really good driving range to use. You're forced to uh, hit shots to the right or the left due to that center section of bunkers. Am 
I had to miss that one too. <clears throat> so there's an example of the shot shape range. We're going to back out, get out of here, go back to new course. We're going to go to the small targets. Next, tee off. And same idea, just smaller, rounder greens, so you really got to focus on what you're shooting at. Um, again, on the mini map, pick your aim point, pick your green that you want to aim to. So, same idea, slightly different setup range. Again, all of the driving ranges you can use the accuracy target on. That's the accuracy target here. So each and every one of these driving ranges you can use that accuracy target. Set it up and hit your shot. That's the small target range. So four ranges, a lot of uh, features inside them, a lot of different greens to aim for and shoot at. Uh, of course, you got these really short ones, 57 yards. There's a 44 yards, 77. So sky's the limit. A lot of different distances, a lot of different targets out there. Let's exit there, exit round, new course. So that's all four ranges, the flat, the large, the shot shape, and the small targets. Let's go back one, and we're going to go to the chip and putt facility. We'll hit next, and we'll go right off to the first one, to the chip and putting area. Basically what this is, is this is quite a large um, putting green. It gives you a lot of features to move around. So by default, it set us up at a 9 foot, or sorry, 9 inch uphill, 58 foot putt. And you can see on the mini map that my ball is right here on the fringe. So it's more of a, a pitch. It's got a set up for a sand wedge. So we can come in here, grab our pitching weapon, 50, what was it, 58 feet. Hit that 58 foot shot, a little bit short. But what's nice about this practice facility or this green, and you can see how big it really is. Um, you can see that it's going all the way out here into the back. It's going all the way over here to the edge. So you want to move your ball around to different style putts, closer putts, longer putts, putts with big ungulation, left to rights. You're able to, by coming down and clicking the golf ball in the bottom corner. And I'm going to shut off my swing cam here for a sec so you can see what I'm talking about. So this ball in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to click on that and what it allows you to do is move your golf ball and I don't know if you can see it but my golf ball is right here. So we can move it wherever we want to move it on the actual green itself. So if we want to work on some short putts uphill, maybe some big sweeping putts. This one's 17 feet. Uh, what other ones do we got? Here's a 20 footer that's 8, eight inches uphill or we can come all the way back here to this far side of the green and you can see how we're talking 49 yard putt which is not realistic. So let's go on the edge of the fringe and hit the check box and it's leaving us with a 53 yard 53 yard shot. So let's um, see how a 53 yard shot goes. So you can go and set up anywhere on the green and work on those um, distances, work on those pitches, those chips, uh, work on the putting. We might try to find, so that gives you an idea of the, the, the pitching setup. Let's go back and pick something perhaps for a, a little bit of a wild putt here. Maybe something like that. It's a 31 footer, 24 footer. Let's go do a 20 footer, 24 feet. Well, that one's not exciting, it's just straight uphill. So 
So another feature that you have in the bottom corner here, I was moving the ball around by clicking the ball icon. I could click on the flag icon and I can move the flag icon to where this slope is right here. So I just move the flag there. Then I'm going to grab my ball, move my ball, I guess maybe right here. See if I can get something with a little bit of a sweeping putt. So there's a 12 foot, 8 inch slightly uphill. Once I'm happy with that, that's a pretty big sweeper. So you can see the, the usability of this piece of software and you can spend quite a bit of time practicing on here and just moving the flag around, moving the ball around, and it's completely your choice. So let's see if we can make a putt here. What is this? Whoa. We better do that one again. We hammered the heck out of that one. Still too hard. Anyway, there's something you can work on there for some, some putting on a, on a heck of a right to left sweeper. So that's basically the main practice facility here. I'm going to click this ball and see where else can I put my ball up here. So I'm going to click back here. You see this big hill? I can literally click on the ball and I can put the ball up on top of this hill. And now I'm up on the hill trying to hit an 81 foot, <laughs> 81 foot shot here. So you can see the sky's the limit for how you want to set up these different shots. Just trying to hit a flop shot and we didn't grab it with the quad there. Oh, sorry. I have the screen still turned on, so you got to remember when you place your ball, you got to hit this checkbox to accept your location. My fault. That's why the screen was basically paused and the shot was being read on the club data screen. Just got confused there a little bit, so. So you can hit some of those off the top of that hill, those little flop shots. Um, bunkers, if you want to choose to be in the bunker and you want to play uh, out of the bunker and do some some sand shots, feel free. Let's place the ball in the bunker. I'm going to sit 57 footer. Flag is right on that hill, kind of in a goofy spot. Didn't quite get it to the hole, but I think you guys got the point. Sky's the limit for what you can do on these practice facilities. Um, also in the practice facility, kind of showing it to you before, but uh, let's move the ball way back here in the trees if we wanted to. Move it over here perhaps. So I'm just setting myself up into the trees here and I just kind of went off into La La Land. Got myself set up for a 65 yard shot. Pick a club that actually is going to work for me. Got to go over top of that little spruce tree or whatever tree that is. Well, not a bad leave since it's all straight downhill from there. So just proving uh, the features and how much you can actually manipulate where your golf shots are coming from. So let's get out of here. Go back to a new course. We tried the flat putting area already. We have a 15 uh, yard bunker shot. Not overly exciting. Coming, it's exactly what it is, 15 yard bunker shot. Got a 32 yard, a 25 yard boulder shot. Well, let's talk about a boulder shot. 25 yard boulder shot. Let's have a look at it. The bunker shot's pretty self explanatory. So we have a 75 foot, 25 yard, either or, and uh, it's over top of this little rock formation. So that's what we have to negotiate. So if that was something that you were trying to work on as kind of your higher
type lob shots with a little bit of zip on them. So that's a 25 yard shot with almost, uh, what is that, 6,900, the quad's reading here, 6,900 backspin. So if that's something that you were working on, trying to get something, uh, some quick stop shots. So there's what the um, 25 yard boulder shot is all about. Again, we have the option to click on our ball and move that ball pretty much anywhere we choose. We can get out here into the, into the rough, we can go on the hill, we can pretty much pick our, our spot, move the ball anywhere we choose to. In fact, we can even move the flag, same thing. So I can take, oh, that's a putting surface. Let's move that ball back a little bit. Go back up here and um, Pick our ball there. I'm just going to move my uh, shot over here and I want to see if uh, the ball will actually hit that clubhouse. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> yep, we're going to hit carts. Hit one a little harder. I want to see if we can bounce it off the clubhouse. <clears throat> Yeah, pretty unique uh, piece of software actually. All right, so that's the, the boulder. Let's um, exit out, go back to the new course. So we did the boulder, let's do a, a log shot. Let's have a look at the log shot quickly. So here we are, we have a, we have a log in the road. So we're looking for a 50 yard shot. We've got that down tree in front of us. So it's just something to work on with your wedges. You have an obstacle in the road and um, I'll keep saying it, but you can move your ball anywhere on these locations and um, play around and make it a little harder, a little more difficult. Have to hit your hit your ball under that log if that's uh, that's what you choose to practice with. What else do we have in the range facility? So we have uh, some preset. Um, let's look at this tree shot, 70 yard tree shot. I don't know what's going to happen here with a 70 yard tree shot. We've definitely got a tree in the road. Can you go through the little triangle gap there? Can you go around it? Can you go left around it, right around it? What's the options? I don't actually know. I tried to go around the left side. Didn't work. It's hard to cut a ball uh, when it's that short of a distance, but we're going to try to go around the right side. <laughs> or not. <clears throat> and then we can probably get a club that will go through that gap. I don't know what club, but I'll grab a six iron here and see if we can go right through that gap there. A little slicey one through that gap. Yeah, you can go through the gap, barely, but I did. So um, here's some practice with the tree work, and that's probably good practice for all of us amateurs because we are we spend some time in the trees, at least I do anyway. Back to the new course. We have preset shots for chips at 40, 60, 80, 90 yards. They're all predefined for us. Um, again, I'll just, use, I'll just go to the 160 yard and pretty basic stuff. Oh, that's a six iron. That's probably not a good club to have. So we got a 60 yard pitch, a little bit of a gully there. It's right. 
probably a good distance to work on because it's not a 60 yards, 50 yards for me personally, it's not an easy shot to make. So it's not a not a bad spot to be in a few different yardages to work on. Of course. So that is it. I'm not going to go through the rest of these. Uh, they're pretty much the same, same predefined uh, targets. All in all, there's about 17 different practice facilities on E6 Connect that can be used with all the Foresight products, the GC Quad, the GC2, the GC Hawk. So um, there's just another bunch of good software for everybody to use. Hopefully everyone enjoyed this um, video tutorial of the practice facilities on E6 Connect. If there's something that you would like to see more of, please comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Anyway, everyone have a good weekend.